there, welcome into my channel. My name is Laurel with the Curated Caravan, and I am a full-time reseller for the past uh, 10 plus years. Not sure exactly of the date. I'd have to look that up, but I'm not gonna. Um, I sell men's, women's, children's clothing, uh, basically anything I can find to sell for profit. And I store it all in my vintage 40s Bulls Arrow trailer which you will see at the end of this video. Today, what we're gonna do is we're going to do a look back at the first two weeks of January and see what was selling. And then we're going to do a part of the ongoing haul from my bulk buy that I did in San Francisco. So I bought 400 plus items, uh, which ended up being a cost of goods of 43 cents each. And I'm working on it piece by piece. So I've got uh, a big Ikea bag that I did, uh, went through and photographed and washed and all of that stuff that we will look at today. And plus I did a little mini haul uh, yesterday at a local thrift store. So I've got some, some brands that I have never seen before that I picked up and we'll check out if they have any value. Uh, first, let's, let's look at January. So it is the middle of January. So I just took a look at my top five sales so far of the month. And so far I have had 43 sales. Uh, eBay, of course, is usually my, my highest amount of sales, which it was with 30 sales so far in January. 10 of those were on Poshmark and three were from Mercari. Uh, my best sales were uh, four from eBay and one from Poshmark. And they were, number one was a St. John three-piece set, the last of my estate sale buy, uh, where I found a bunch of vintage St. John pieces uh, in really good condition. And this piece sold for, it was a three-piece set, it sold for $281 on eBay. Next up, was a Uniqlo fleece in an olive green color. It was a men's pullover fleece. And I sold that also on eBay for $84.84. .84. Uh, number three is a bolo. Um, I bought it as part of this bulk buy and listed it, listed it on Tuesday. It sold on Wednesday morning. So within a day, and it sold for $70. And it, the brand is Recycled Karma. And it was a 50 years Woodstock uh, tie-dye sweatshirt. I had no idea that it brought that much money. I did list it, you know, pretty high. And I took an offer of 70. Uh, well, 70 is with the shipping. So, you know, 65, I think is what it sold for. Uh, number four was a sale on Poshmark, my only really good sale on Poshmark because Poshmark has been dead for me for January. So number four was a new to me brand called Samso Samso. It is a Danish brand. It was a men's um, tan colored basket weave uh, pullover sweater sold for $55 on Poshmark was my only good sale so far on Poshmark this month. Number five was a pair of Jack Rogers uh, black ankle boots. They are leather. Um, they sold with the shipping, it was $52. So I don't have the breakdown of what, what my profit was on those. I think I did buy those uh, at a thrift store. So it wasn't in part of a bulk buy, um, but still a decent sale. And I've had those for a while. So I was, I was happy to take the offer of what the person offered me. Uh, like I said, the bet that my quickest sale was the, that recycled karma sweatshirt that sold in less than a day. And then I sold a tank top on eBay, which I have had since 2021, sold it for about $11. I was very happy to get rid of that. I just sold something today too, that's been sitting in my closet forever. So I am always, I think I'm always just as, as happy to get rid of those as I am for my big ticket items. Um, but that is the breakdown so far for the month of January. And hopefully the next two weeks will be a little better on Poshmark because I'm really kind of disappointed with how Poshmark has been going so far this year. 
So now we can break down my, um, all of these items are, I purchased for 43 cents at a bulk buy in San Francisco. And it's just kind of hodgepodge, different things, men's, women's, vintage, a couple of kids things. So let's take a look at what I found. Um, I did photograph all of these, so I will have a, a good shot, hopefully up here. Um, so you can see what they look like uh, photographed because it's hard to get it, you know, in the shot. So first off was a pair of vintage um, wide leg, I guess, palazzo pants. Very funky, very 60s. Uh, check out that pattern. So it's got a uh, deer and it's got a ram there somewhere. Yeah, down at the bottom it has a ram. Super colorful. Um, and the fabric is in really good condition. It's not pilly. The colors are very vibrant. You can see the how vibrant they are. The brand is Alice of California. There is the brand. And I have not look up, looked up comps as I'm filming this, but before I, I post this video, I will hopefully have some comps up here. I probably won't be able to find, of course, these exact pants, but maybe something else by this brand. So I have some idea of how to price those because I, I really don't know. But you can see how wide those legs are. Really cute, though. Some, somebody is going to love those pants. Next up, okay, a couple of things. You know, when I go through, I find things that I end up just tossing. And this might be one, but I haven't looked up comps to see if it's worth repairing or not. The brand is Coppin. I'm thinking it's probably a cycling brand because it does have, or maybe just an active wear running. I don't know. It's got a zipper, zipper pocket in the back and it's just a black active tank, just a tank top. <clears throat> Sometimes these brands surprise me though, but it does, the hem is out in an area. So do I want to repair that? Not really. So I will only do that if it is, you know, going to be worth it for me. But for now, it's set to the side. Next up is a brand that has a really high retail rate. But to resell, I don't know why I have such a hard time. Resell, resale the, between those two. So sorry if I, you know, interchange them sometimes. Um, but resell is a lot lower than the retail uh, for Theory. Theory is the brand, you know, super expensive. This looks to me almost like a 90s or a Y2K little t-shirt. It's got, it's, it's really cute. It's got these little cutout kind of uh, flutter sleeves and some embroidery, some orange thread embroidery on the flowers in a petite so it'll probably sit and it probably won't go for much money but anyway theory is a great brand on its own next is a little baby blanket cable knit little rectangle off-white blanket i think it's 100 percent cotton the brand is tadpoles Tadpoles. I haven't looked it up yet, but I grab anything that I think there is a possibility that it's going to have a good resale. So I grabbed it. I haven't looked it up yet. Next up, I have sold, I think, this exact polo shirt before, and it sold pretty quickly. Just a basic bread and butter brand of J. Crew. J. Crew? Yeah, J. Crew Mercantile. The broken in. Yeah, broken in polo shirt in a green. Uh, and I, like I said, I have sold this exact polo shirt, I think just like probably a month ago. Uh, it has one pocket and I think it's an extra large. So I pick that up. Next, a shirt I don't know anything about. At first I thought, is this American Giant? I don't think it's American Giant because that's a great brand to find, but it is Giant. It is a brand, looks like a vintage label. And it is a men's blue t-shirt with a yellow Pac-Man. Short sleeves. I have not researched that yet, but I will post that when I do. 
Uh, also, follow me on Instagram. Um, I really need to be more regular with my Instagram, but um, it is a curi- the cur- I think it's The Curated Caravan on Instagram. And next up is a Kilo Hattie from Hawaii. A button front men's shirt. And I just picked it up because I like the pattern. It's got these little surfer guys on there. And a real um, textury fabric. I don't know what to really call it. But um, yeah, it's just real dimply. I don't know what that's called. And another brand that I have never heard of, but the tag looks good. It's got European sizing, which is always a good sign. And the brand is Mademoiselle St. James. There is that. It is a blue and white kind of nautical stripe t-shirt, long sleeves, and the back is really cute. It buttons down the back with a solid band at the bottom. So really cute, new to me brand. Hopefully it is a good one. Feels like silk on the bottom, the bottom band. And I'll show you the, this is really what was the draw to me. It was the European sizing on there. Um, and it also has a little metal plate with this, with the brand, which, you know, if it's a cheap brand, it's not going to have all those details. Hopefully <laughs> I'll let you know. And then another brand that has a high retail, low resell. And it is Joie, the soft line, which is a little bit better than just regular Joie, which used to sell a lot better for me, but you know, the more you find it, start finding it at TJ Maxx, the less you can get for it. By the way, uh, yellow tags are at TJ Maxx right now. Um, still high for resellers. And really, I, I really, hopefully I can have self-control and not buy a bunch of yellow tag stuff at TJ Maxx because the market is usually saturated with those items. I still have stuff from the last time I shopped there. It's still sitting out there. Uh, this is a little mini dress. It's like in a chambray fabric. I think it's a linen blend. Half button front with roll tab sleeves and a size glasses. It's in a large, so that's like great to find. It is a cute little mini dress. Perfect for summer. It'll be here <laughs> in a while. Next up is another brand that I don't know. So I actually love finding brands that I don't know because then I can research them and hopefully there's something good. And this is called Big Flower. Yeah, Big Flower East Hampton. It is a kind of semi-sheer. You can kind of see through it there. Um, is this space dye? Anyway, it's like kind of that, that rougher slub cotton kind of, anyway, just a, a short sleeve tee. Have not looked up if that brand is worth anything yet. And then, oh, this is a cause is the brand COS. It is the H and M higher, higher brand. Um, love to find cause. This is just a bet basic black t-shirt in a medium, I think. I'll do that, but I think it's a medium. Um, and I don't know if that's, I think it's women's, just the cut of it. The sleeves look more like a women's t-shirt. And that is that. And then I found this a scarf, cute little animal print, black and white scarf. The brand is Echo. Echo, I haven't looked it up. Don't know what it's made of. It doesn't have any materials tagged, but um, you know, I may keep it for myself. I do like a scarf. Next, my next little stack here, moving over. These are all the pants that I have from this haul. I found a couple of pairs of these kind of over pant, um, like a snow pant. So the pockets open up so you can still get stuff out of your other pair of pants that are underneath. Um, but the brand is Ashworth. 
don't know if it's worth anything, but they're just a blue, blue men's pants with a Velcro at the hems. Of course, you can't use the word Velcro, but you can use loop. What is it? Loop and hook and loop. Hook and loop closure, I think, is what you can do to get around not using Velcro. Um, so a pair of men's pants, if, if they're not worth much. I don't know. Maybe I'll just give them to somebody local here because we do get snow here. I am in California, but I'm in the Central Mountains. So we get we get all four seasons here, which is very nice. So next up, I have a pair of blue dog. Dog, there's nothing up there. Uh, so next up, I have a pair of joggers from Kulabura uh, by Ugg. And they're a small blue jogger. And really super soft. Um, again, 43 cents. Because I don't know that Kulabura really is the highest price. But more than 43 cents, I'm sure. Next, a pair of Champion, Champion um, sweatpants in a large. They're in really great condition and really hardly faded at all. And they have got, where is it? Colorado View, I'm guessing. Is this Colorado State? I don't know. I haven't looked them up yet, like everything else. But just a pair of men's uh, black joggers. Really nice condition and then a pair of pants that I'm trying not to try on because I don't need them and they're probably not worth very much so who knows I might keep these but they're just uh, BDG Urban Outfitters pair of olive green army green uh, jogger cargo pants I might keep these but I might not I don't know I might list them and then if they don't sell really right away I might go dig them back out because I, I think they're really cute. Although they might, you know how the pockets sometimes hit you right at your hips and not the most desirable area. Next up, another new to me brand. Haven't looked them up. I don't know. And I don't know how to pronounce it at all. It is spelled B-A-S-S-I-K-E. Basique. 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 I don't know. In a size two. So I'm thinking they have, probably have their own vanity sizing. Um, they are a black canvas pant with a, a white, off-white side kind of ribbon drawstring with a rope, rope tie. Oh, and I think they said they're from Australia. I think it's a designed or made in Australia. So, which usually, I don't know, for me means not going to sell in the United States. Next, uh, these are Greg Norman, which is that golf? I'm thinking it's golf, Greg Norman, but I don't know anything about these pants. They're a weird, they're, they've got a weird coating on the inside. It's really kind of feels kind of rubbery. And like the other pants that I had, they have like the open pockets. So you must wear them over other pants. So and they also have zippered hems with the gather like 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 a snow pant but they're super lightweight so i don't really know what these would be for but i thought greg norman was golf i'll let you know hopefully i will put it up here on the side what i find out about these before i post this video uh next is a pair of pants from lacoste which is a great brand to find um, but these have have some issues so they're probably not gonna get much um, and the only way that I even know that they are Lacoste is from the buttons the buttons say Lacoste and let's see do they have an RN they don't oh yeah they do have an RN so but I, I think they're Lacoste but they have these weird they have like on the inside some tears i don't know what that would be from and then a couple of tiny spots there's like a, a little tiny spot there 
I think the other leg has maybe a, it's got a little tiny spot there too. Um, but they're just like a denim in like a peachy pink straight leg. Uh, cute um, pockets on the back. And they're a size 10, a size 10, but they seem, they seem smaller to me. I will do, you know, measurements and see what they end up being. But I do like finding the cost. It's, you know, the alligator brand that in the 80s we used to love. Next up, I found a couple of pairs. Oh, these are the, no, these are American Eagle. Two pairs of American Eagles in this haul. Jeans. A lot of people do well. I know they don't sell for a lot, but they usually sell pretty quickly. American Eagle. These are the original straight. And um, one pair is these. These are the 32 by 32s. Um, I, still, I think they're, they're women's. They're a straight leg, original straight. Kind of a lighter medium wash. But it's good they're not the skinny. And they're a high rise. And then are these the other ones. Yeah, these are the other ones. They're a darker wash. Also American Eagle. And they are the Airflex. Airflex Plus. So they're very stretchy. And these are also original straights, but they have this kind of the X whiskering on the knees and in the back also. And so these are, I think these, the others were 32, 32s. I think these are 30, 32s. Um, 32, 30s, 32, 30s. Which I don't know, I guess they could be men's. I haven't, I haven't checked to see. Then a pair of black denim from, I do not remember. Who. Oh, these are John Galt, which is, or Jay Galt, uh, a Brandy Melville brand. They're a black carpenter jean with a kind of a wider straight leg and a size small, size small, 100% cotton. Um, very cute. Black of denims. They seem like a little more of a current style, but I'm not expecting to make a lot of money off of those. And then lastly for bottoms is a pair of Madewell jeans. Just a basic 10 inch skinny. Yeah, 10 inch skinny, but they're a size 30. So that's a good size to find. And there we go. They are high rise. Um, Probably will sit on those for a while. Actually, I don't even need to be picking up jeans, but you know, I, I take what I can get. And then I've got three little baby pieces. Uh, this one is Marameco, but for Target, uh, which I think I just saw the Marameco and just thought wonderful. But sometimes the collabs do well. Anyway, this is a cute little, little summer sundress. And then I'll just a little Hello Kitty, like new little top. And then a pair of camo overalls from John Deere. Probably not worth much either, but the kid stuff doesn't take up much room. So I throw it in. Okay, did those, did those. Okay, so that is my Ikea bag full. I did throw away another a Lucky Brand t-shirt that was stained. Not worth even trying on that one. And then next up is my, my local thrift store haul with just a couple of items, but um, they were mostly half off or a dollar. So I always like to run in there and, and see what they've got. So first up is a kind of a duster linen jacket in brown from the brand Flax. I paid the regular price, which was $3.99 on this. Um, it is really cute, really cute brown, chocolate brown with a button front um, with pockets. And I think this brand used to sell better than it does now because I do have some a couple of things that are still in my inventory that I've had for quite a while, but I, I 
thought this was a really cute jacket. And okay, so these I have not laundered. They have not been photographed. So it will be, you know, a few days before they are listed. Next was just a Victoria's Secret bra. Uh, it was $5, but it's in my size. So I thought, well, maybe I'll just keep it for myself. It's a metallic, metallic goldy color. A little padded. Anyway, just a little bra. Next up, another thing that maybe I will just keep for myself. Just a pair of Trina Turk recreation leggings they're in a gray camo print with orange drawstrings i think i paid four or five dollars for these um because trina turk is is again a, a one of those brands that the re retail is very high okay and my local thrift tends to get kind of some Kind of the older lady, which I am an older lady, but older than me lady, um, rich lady stuff. And so sometimes I'll find brands, well, I'll get uh, some St. John's there. And this one, you know, a good sign of a good brand is the dry cleaning tag that's, you know, that they put on. So this, the brand is Bernard Zins. Never heard of them, but... I looked up comps and I didn't see the pants exactly um, because I just, you know, just pulled it up when I was looking. But um, their other things were like five, six hundred dollars. So for they were three ninety nine, but then half off of that. So two dollars. Just a pair of linen trousers, side zippers. I thought, why not? Because I like to find new to me brands. Next was a pair of Ivy Park leggings, which used to sell pretty quickly. I don't know what the current market is, but they were new, new with their TJ Maxx tag. Um, oh yeah, they have their regular, their Ivy Park tags too. So that's good. So just a, a blue legging. So I took a chance on those. I do remember selling those a few years ago and they would get really good prices, but I'm not sure about now. Uh, here's another half price item. Or was this a dollar? This might have been. I remember if green was half price or a dollar. Either way, it was either one dollar or two dollars for this Garnet Hill dress. It's a little mini dress uh, with tan with brown polka dots. And so worth, I think, one to two dollars. And another one that was a dollar because I'm not picking up any more, no more, if you're hearing me say this, no more White House Black Market, no more Talbots, no more J. Jill because I find a million of them and they're sitting in my closet. So no more, unless they're a dollar like this one. See, then I can't resist. Uh, White House Black Market, a red form-fitting kind of that bandage style, but it's kind of, I don't know, classic. Somebody might want to wear that out somewhere and then lastly another new to me brand uh never heard of it it is Gretty Zuger is natural fashion and I looked it up I didn't see this one but comps were high and it was it was 3 dollars but it is just a black tunic top button front with kind of some some detailing embroidery on there. Uh, like I said, the comps were high for this brand, so hoping that it is a decent pickup. That's I think that's it. I think everything is down that was drying. Yep, that's it. So thank you for joining me. Hit the like and subscribe button, please. It helps me to get new people to look at my channel. And I hope to see you again. Uh, if not before, I'll do my last two weeks of January sales at uh, the end of the month.
and another hall. Uh, gotta keep this, this, uh, I gotta keep my bulk buy going so I can go back and get some more stuff. But I, first, I need to clear out some of my old stuff. So I'm gonna be starting a 99 cent sale on eBay for some of my older tops that I really need gone. So if I don't sell them in the next couple of months, I'm just gonna donate a whole bunch of tops. So I'm gonna run a bunch of stuff starting auctions at 99 cents. Um, my closet name on eBay, everywhere. It should be the Curated Caravan or Curated Caravan. The links will be below. And if you wanna get in on that sale, um, if you prefer Poshmark or Mercari, just make me an offer. And like I said, all of that older stuff, I just really want to get get rid of so I can get some new stuff moved in because I am out of space in my trailer. I can't even show you a picture of it because it is packed. Um, so that is it for me. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. And well, it probably won't go up till tomorrow. So have a great week. Um, and that's it. Bye-bye.